the New England Patriots' pursuit of an upgrade at wide receiver last year included a few notable targets, and one of them was Green Bay Packers wideout Randall Cobb. The Athletics' Jay Glazer touched on this subject in an off-season mailbag published Thursday. The Patriots were trying to trade for a receiver last year, before the trade deadline and in the off-season. Actually, here's a name that people don't know about, they even called trying to trade for Randall Cobb at one point. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility to think that the Patriots will still be in the market for a top-flight receiver. Cobb played in just nine games for Green Bay last season due to injury, but he's normally been one of Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers' most trusted targets. The 28-year-old veteran tallied 39 receptions for 383 yards and two touchdowns during the 2018 season. Cobb has posted 41 receiving touchdowns in his eight-year career. He will be an unrestricted free agent later this month. Wide receiver is one position the Patriots must improve before next season. They could find one in the draft, New England has a league-high 12 picks in the 2019 NFL Draft, or look to free agency. The trade market might actually be the best place to acquire a wide receiver, especially if the Pats are looking for an established, top-tier player at the position. The Patriots reportedly tried to trade for New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr before the 2018 season. New England reportedly made an in-season offer for Detroit Lions wideout Golden Tate, but he was instead dealt to the Philadelphia Eagles. It would be wise of the Patriots to go big game hunting for a wide receiver and try to maximize the remainder of quarterback Tom Brady's career. Brady shows few signs of slowing down, but he's 41 years old. The window to win is right now. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. It's another off-season of uncertainty for the Patriots and their fans as they again await a decision from Rob Gronkowski on whether he'll continue his football career or retire. On one hand, the All-Pro tight end has still been frequenting the team facility at Gillette Stadium since the Super Bowl, on the other, the seaport condo that is likely his Boston Diggs was just put on the market for $2.4 million. Is Gronk selling his Boston penthouse? https colon slash slash t dot co slash ibkc 9 s one pick twittercom slash 6 gosh 6 f 8 Boston Magazine, at Boston Magazine, March 7, 2019 While the listing agent for the property wouldn't reveal the name of the owner to Boston Magazine, the Boston Herald reported back in 2016 that the penthouse sold to Grankowski Endorsements LLC for $1.90. Million, here's a look at the place, Biazillo.com. While a mere real estate sale doesn't begin to predict a player's future, that didn't stop the speculation to begin that Gronk has his bags packed and he's ready to kick that movie career into high gear. Gronk headed to Hollywood. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash cb 8 i 9 Compton, Mike Mitnansky, at Mute we I, March 7, 2019 Earlier this week, NBC Sports Boston Patriots insider Tommy Curran wrote that getting Gronk some help at tight end, after the Patriots released Dwayne Allen, could be a factor in the big guy's decision, along with him not exactly being ecstatic about his contract situation. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Kyle Van Noy fully bought into the Patriot way, and he's a two-time Super Bowl champion as a result. Pat's linebacker had to send Colts tight end Eric Ebron a gentle reminder of that fact. Ebron was recruiting free agent safety Landon Collins to Indianapolis when Lions defensive back Quandre Diggs interrupted to recruit Collins to Detroit. Of course, Detroit is where ex-Patriots defensive coordinator Matt Patricia is now the head coach. In his response to Diggs, Ebron took a shot at the Patriot way, nobody wanna do that Patriot way ball. Ring ring winking face, Kyle Van Noy, at KVN underscore 03, March 6, 2019 The Patriot way, more often than not has translated to success, though it's clear some players around the NFL still aren't fond of how Bill Belichick and co. handle things over in Foxborough. Nonetheless, Van Noy's response shows Pats players don't have a difficult time shutting down the anti-Patriot way remarks. 
That also was the case during the team's Super Bowl 53 championship parade, when Deron Harmon showed Eagles offensive tackle Lane Johnson just how fun it is to play in New England. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.